This video is only about two settings for this MSI MAG301CR2. Two settings that some people might have not thought about. One simply sharpens images and text on the screen, one simple setting. The other one helps greatly with motion blur to reduce it. For other settings, I have two videos on what settings to use. The other one is the MSI MAG301CR2 Q&A video and comparing to other monitor options. And then another one is right behind me, which is the MSI MAG301CR2 best settings and LG 27GL850 compared, which is part three of three of my review video. So if you wanna know the best settings to use, other than what I'm talking about in the video, rather than sounding like a broken record and repeating myself again and again, watch those two videos. Hello, this is Eric of Not Bios, and today's video is about improving image sharpness as well as reducing the almighty and annoying motion blur. Of course, VA panels, one problem they have is they don't handle dark tones very well. That goes for all VA panels in general. And you get image smearing of those black tones. So first we're gonna start this video with actually improving, well, image sharpness. And this will infect the image sharpness in Windows as well as in games. The most pronounced item about this is images that are kind of soft or textures in games will become highly sharpened. This game is called Terminator Resistance. And what I'm gonna do here is show the difference in quality. So this pole here is actually kind of, well, not very sharp image quality. So to actually improve that, I'll just actually do that, uh, go to Professional, Image Enhancement. Right now it's off, but we should be able to see that sharpness change between this and off. Of course, if I go higher than that, sure, you can actually see the sharpness increase yet, but the problem is something called aliasing. These bars right here, when I actually go to image enhancement, if I go too high, you'll see they'll get really bad, these bars. So weak, you can start to see a little bit image crawl. Medium is not too bad, but when you get to say strongest right here, we can see a lot of white. Let's go back to off. See that difference? So off on the brick in the background and now medium. And just like enhancing your image, to actually improve motion blur is simply a one step process. What I can go through is each setting and show the ghosting of the image moving in the Blur Busters UFO test in slow motion and compare them side by side just to show how much the images are improved. So for this step, we're gonna to go to the computer monitor menu again. We're gonna go from game mode and we're gonna go down to night vision. Watch the black smearing at the back end of each spaceship to see how it's reduced. The biggest weakness of all VA panels tends to be the dark tones that don't refresh as fast as all the lighter, brighter tones. But combining this with increasing the brightness in game a bit, you'll get a much better gaming experience. Terminator Resistance is quite the dark game, and that's going to cause a lot of motion blur in a game like this. And the way to fix this is go from gaming to night vision, change your off. I recommend strong if you want the best, as we've seen in the example. Normal, well, that's your happy medium. And strong, we don't really lose too much contrast. It does get a bit bright, but strongest, everything comes washed out and not as sharp, especially look at those fine textures. A little bit too dark, pretty nice. Strong is still decent, but you can see the, the actual contrast really washed out between the paint chips. So we still see the dark tones right there. And again, it ruins those dark tones completely having strongest. And some of you might be asking, what do I personally use? Well, in Terminator Resistance, which is a game you probably never really heard of, and the reason I got it and a bunch of other people mentioned it recently in videos, and being an old game, is because of a Steam sale, if you wondered at all. Now, what I actually use is image sharpening on lowest setting and night vision on lowest setting. 
because I can't stand that little bit of white lines of the image crawl, but it does look sharper. So it's sometimes I'll deal with a little higher setting on image sharpening and image enhancement that is. What happens in movies is color tones like for a person's face and stuff like that get more washed out. So a person rather than having a little bit of pinkish maybe in their skin will look a little more whitish. Don't forget to subscribe to Not Bios to help this channel grow and help me help you. Thanks again for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day. This is Not Bios Tech and Hardware. So you might ask, this monitor or the 27GL850? 27GL850. There's a newer model, the GP, I believe it's called, or PG, whenever it's basically the same model, but it's, I believe, GP or PG, I'm not sure which way around it is. And that's the new 2021 model. There's also an ultra wide model of the Nano IPS. If you want a recommendation, and if you don't need that pitch black and you just want pure speed for gaming, IPS is the way to go. And I have two monitors listed in my MSI MAG 301 CR2 that are very good options. I'm going to be having a video coming up about different monitor options, which you want to get based on if you want widescreen or if you look for the fastest gaming screen. Because guess what? 360 hertz isn't the fastest because it's 360 hertz. The one problem is a lot of them can't go fast enough. The response time is not fast enough to actually run nicely at 360 hertz. And sometimes actually going down to 240 hertz, which then is what's the point? There are some great options and I'll discuss that. And if you want the best monitor money can buy, prepare to spend a good three, $4,000 on a 27 inch screen. I am not joking. If you want the best, you gotta pay for the best. If you want something reasonable, well, then tell me you want something reasonable and then I can recommend for gaming and whatnot, but I need to know what matters to you. Fastest gaming or best looking? or vice versa, because there's no such thing as both. And the LG is pretty good balance on that. But a lot of time you'll see these really high refresh monitors and all of a sudden you have 8-bit color max. And you'll see lower P3 profiles. It means less color tone gets more squished together. It means you, instead of having 1.07 billion color options, you're stuck with 16.7 billion, million colors, sorry because you can't have your cake and eat it too. You have to give up one to get the other. I need you guys to understand that there's no such thing as the perfect monitor. If there was, there'd be no point in making different models now, would there? And right now, I personally know that tech companies are holding out because hey, they wanna make the profits. And unless someone decides to kill the market, the other people are not gonna like decide, okay, we gotta release our best. So they're taking their time because there's something called micro LED. Mini LED seems to be going slow. Your multiple zones are costing a lot for mini LEDs. Quantum dots seem to be not very common. So there's tech options, but they're being held back. Just realize that you're not getting your perfect monitor because tech companies, aren't allowing it because they want their margins. And if you ran a company, you'd probably want your margins too. So there's that.